Hello guys, welcome back to our new video. So today at Talent Battle, we are back with yet another amazing opportunity from Atlassian. So this company is hiring for female candidates and let us check out what is the job role and what is the hiring process. So watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any kind of update. And if you have not sus subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we at Talent Battle are bringing up new opportunities for you on daily basis. And also we will give you some tips and tricks for your placement preparation. If you want to enroll in the complete masterclass, the link is given below. Let's check out this video. So today we will discuss about women in tech fourth edition summer internship. As you can see on my screen, this is an internship opportunity for female candidates from Atlassian. So in this company, they are hiring 2026 batch students. And I repeat, this is only for the female candidates. The link will be given to you in the description box. Whenever you will click on the link, you will reach to their official website. And please note that registration will close on 16th of September. So you have to register before that. So women in tech edition. So there is a hackathon kind of uh, edition in, in this hiring opportunity. These are the event timelines. The registration timeline is started from 28th of August and will be up till 16th of September. So you can easily register by 16th of September. So as soon as you watch the video completely, you can just go on and register. And then there will be a hacker rank assessment. If your resume will get shortlisted, you will be called for a hacker rank assessment on 24th, 1st of September, which will be from 8 to 9.30 of PM. Okay. After that, there will be engagement sessions that will start from 16th and it will be on 17th October as well. Then there will be virtual interviews from 21st of October onwards. So each and everything will be communicated through your official uh, like Gmail account. So please fill your email IDs very nicely. Then here are some event details. There will be round one as hacker on assessment as we discussed, then round two as coding interview round and round three will be a leadership and values round. So these are the three rounds in which first will be a hacker rank round. There will be some coding questions which you need to solve. Then there will be a coding interview. Like they will ask you to write the code and they will ask you to present your screen. They will put up you some questions. It will be a, a like it will be majorly based on your coding skills. So if you are good enough with your coding skills with any one of OOPS language, then you can easily take part in this drive. And this is a very good internship opportunity. Like if you are selected and if you successfully complete this opportunity, these kind of internships can also uh, like transfer to your uh, permanent jobs also. And even they are counted as an added advantage if you are taking this on your resume to some other companies also. And Atlassian is a very big company. So, Next is the eligibility criteria. As we discussed, it is for PE, BTEC, dual degrees, uh, MTEC can also apply, but circuit branches allowed are computer science engineering, electrical engineering, IT information technology, electronics and communication engineering, mathematics and computing, and engineering physics. These are the branches which are allowed. A minimum of seven CGP is required in your degrees. Year of passing is 2026. Applicants must not have any current or active backlogs. You must do not have any current or active backlogs. Any individual who has participated in a Atlassian online assessment or interview process in the last six months are not eligible to apply. So if you have already applied to Atlassian in the past six months, you cannot take part in this particular drive once again. This is the common rule for most of the companies. Like whenever you are uh, entering into any company and if you have taken its hiring round in the last six months or last three months, they are not allowing you to take part in the uh, hiring once again. Okay, because they want to give a chance to most of the students. Year of passing is 2026. There are rules also only women students who meet the specified criteria are eligible to participate. We are welcome. Uh, we are excited to welcome you if you will be the fit if you will fit in the requirements. So these are the rules. This is the basic rule. And after the online assessment, we will need you to provide your educational and identity proof documents that match the details which you have shared with the registration form. Each candidate should register only once. Multiple registration can lead to disqualification. It means you do not have to register again and again. You have to wait. Like if your resume will get shortlisted, then you will get the email. You do not have to hurry. Okay. You have, you do not have to fill the registration again and again. So this was uh, about Atlassian. You can read about company, you can watch out their videos. There are different kind of videos, different kind of testimonials are there. And if uh, FAQs are also there. So these are some FAQs you can read out. It is, uh, is this an online test or MCQ based? So no, this is an online test that will consist questions 
where you are required to solve the question. So there will be coding questions only. There will be no MCQs. Will there be briefing session before the personal interview rounds? Yes, they will, they will conduct candidates who will be shortlisted. Like there will be a briefing session also. I am attempting the hacker rank uh, test for the first time. How can I prepare for a smoother experience? So they have given you how you can prepare for your hacker rank assessment. What if I encounter any technical issue? So you have to report that issue to the candidate support team. They have also given their email IDs. If I do not receive any email after completing the test, is there any chance that I do not submit? I did not submit the irrespective of whether you receive the email confirmation, your attempt will get submitted as soon as you hit the submit button. So you do not have to worry. Whenever you have clicked the submit button, you do not have to worry. You have to wait. Your test has been submitted as soon as you click on the submit button. Okay. So let's now register. You have to scroll up. On the top corner, there is a register button. So you have to click here on register button. So it's a small registration form. Let us discuss this also. So first of all, you have to fill your full name, then your email address, then your country. You have to select from a drop down menu is there. Okay. Of course, it's for Indian branch, uh, Indian students. So you have to fill India. Contact number, your gender, your college name as per the college website. So official college name, complete name you have to fill. Then college roll number, college city, college state, your course, your branch. Okay. So if you are applying for a dual degree, like if you're studying in a dual degree program, you have to fill your second branch. Otherwise you can uh, leave it because this is optional. Next is this CGPA you have to fill. It must be above seven as per the hiring criteria. Then year of passing, it must be 2026 as this is a eligibility criteria says that it, it must be for 26. Otherwise, 25 option is also there, but here they have written like read the eligibility criteria. Like if you have participated in a classroom assessment in the last six months, you have to fill no. Then you have to uh, fill your college placement team email ID, like your TPO's email ID you have to fill, your placement team like a college TPO name you have to fill, then uh, your contact number of the TPO. TPO is your training placement officer. You have to fill all the details of the TPO also. Then you have to click on the privacy policy and you have to click on register. So uh, let us quickly fill one registration form for you also. So I'll just fill one demo form. Okay. So I'll fill with my name and my details. This is completely a demo form. So you do not have to worry. Next is your email ID. Yes. Next country. Next is the contact number. Next we have to click on gender. Next you have to fill your college name. Okay. Let us fill the college name. So as this opportunity is only for females, so once we'll go with the female option here. Okay. Next uh, is the CGPA, so it must be more than seven. So you have to fill your correct CGPA, but your CGPA should be more than seven. Year of passing should be 26 only. Here you have to fill no. Here you have to share the college TPO name and designations. So I will share TPO name, TPO email ID. and contact number. So I'll fill one random contact number. I'll click on I agree and I'll click on register. So see, you have successfully registered for the event. Please check your email for the further updates. You have to click on OK, got it. And email will be received by on your email ID. Okay. So this was all about in today's video. We have discussed about the women in tech uh, competition. It is for women's of 2026 batch. It is very beneficial because if you will get uh, like you will be uh, participating in their summer internship program, you will uh, if you will successfully complete all the rounds. Okay. And they have not shared any kind of uh, like uh, 
the package or uh, how what are they are going to offer but you can read the faqs like what is the duration of the summer internship it will be for 8 weeks providing participants a uh, comprehensive experience during the summer break so it will be most probably next starting from the next year so your complete uh, like uh, semester will be involved in this who is eligible so again you can check the eligibility criteria okay and what is the stipend offer so stipend offer interns will receive a competitive stipend they have just mentioned competitive stipend but they have do not uh, like mentioned the actual stipend when is the tentative timeline so tentative timeline is may 25 to july 25 uh, aligning with your summer break uh, what will be the rounds so rounds we have already discussed here is the timings also given like hacker rank will be for 90 minutes coding interview will be for 60 minutes leadership and values interview will be for 45 minutes okay what is the tentative timeline so timeline again we have filled that uh, like we have discussed the dates please keep these dates in mind okay so that's all and if you have any kind of doubts and queries you want to ask about any kind of placement uh, preparation techniques or you want to take part in the complete placement masterclass where we are helping students to prepare for their campus on campus and off campus placement we have all the languages covered and we also help you to prepare for your interviews for your rounds all the rounds under one course okay so you do not have to uh, worry about your placement preparation in a very structured manner everything is provided to a student at a single place and uh, due to our dedicated mentors you get a complete mentorship also you can discuss your doubts and queries anytime with our mentors and it is a very nice uh, like course and the course link has been also dis uh, put in the de description box just click on that and discover about that also if you want to discuss any queries you can just mention down below or you can reach out to us on our social media handles like whatsapp or instagram we are also giving our calling numbers under this description thanks you have a nice day